Hi, this is Morgan from Zippy Starter. Zippy Starter has been created to massively reduce dev time so you can launch fast. And it's built with um, the idea that you can promote your products online. You can use it to get found on Google because it's been built with on-page SEO baked into it. And you can also use it to establish yourself as an author because it's been designed for Eat. Um, I'm going to quickly walk you through the code base. So here it is, app directory, Next.js 14, nothing unconventional here. It's all really straightforward stuff. <clears throat> You'll be able to find your way around in no time and there's going to be documentation to go with it. So I'll quickly generate a blog post. <clears throat> um, I've created a CLI for this task and you, you'll be able to use it. it. It's really good because otherwise you've got to manually do this. You've got to manually create these files and place them in directories. It just feels really monotonous. Never do that with alt text. I'm going to create a new category and we'll call it SEO. And there should be a new page generated now in that location. All the metadata is created. And all that's left to do now is just fill out the rest of the post, commit it. And Push it upstream. That'll take about a minute. That's the publishing process. Um, so yeah, with Zippy Starter, there is a demo that's included. And the demo is based on an individual who's a designer and developer. So there's a, there's a mixture of um, items on the homepage. There's a feed that goes through to a portfolio. This is a portfolio item that can be reused for a multitude of different content if you want you could use it for a product um, it just happens that it should be used for a portfolio here there's a blog feed um, you can see here so this is what i was talking about with eat so in every post there's an author rand is the author you, you can see how long the, the, the post is uh, you can click through to randy and find out who he is from that on every blog post so that's baked in I'm going to be building author pages as well because I'm imagining situations where there's more than one author. So you could have an, an about page about the website itself or the product and you could have separate author pages. It's all for EAT. There's also a contact page. This is one of those things that repeatedly crops up. You're always going to end up, if you're building a site like that, needing a contact form. So you can get one up and running and generate leads in a matter of minutes. You just need to change a couple of environment variables. Now, if we go back to the blog, the Zippy Starter, it might not be published yet because I'm, I was pretty quick there. Pretty quick. So I'll just wait for that. There it is. Okay, so that should be live now. There we go. So here's the new category. Here's the post. There it is. So you can see I'm the author this time. There's a whopping great featured image there. Everything's laid out. A typographic hierarchy, you've got on-page navigation, and yeah, I've run it through Google Lighthouse and it gets 100. I've also run it through the rich results test just to validate the schema markup and everything passes. There's an absolute ton of features. Um, another one is there's a landing page template. So you can use this if you're a SaaS or you've got a product that you want to sell and you can use it to promote your product. Yeah, there's loads of components. You can explain how your product works. You can break down the features and you can also sell it using these pricing card components. And there's an FAQ section at the bottom. There's an absolute ton included with this. I can't wait to see what you produce and go get it while you can. Thank you.